Welcome to the Nalini Kids One Word Workout. Each exercise will focus on one word to strengthen both your body and your mind. In each exercise, I want you to focus on three different things. Your one word, your form, and your posture. Okay, let's get to it. Angry. Having a strong feeling of annoyance, displeasure, or hostility. Let's connect to angry with a chair routine. When you feel angry, you can channel it into something productive, like heat in your body. Start by stepping your feet together. Find the big toes, the ankles, and the knees all touching. Now sink your hips down like sitting into a chair. Cross your arms over your chest, lift your chest, and draw your elbows down toward your ribs. Pull your shoulder blades down your back. Let's do 10 together. Go for it. Lower down an inch and lift up, that's 10. And nine, keep going. Eight, squeeze your legs. Seven, push down through the heels. Six, five, almost there. Four, three, that's two. And our last one, now hold it here. Lift your arms up by your ears. Straighten your arms a little bit more and send them further back behind your head. Lift your chest, pull your shoulder blades down your back. Now we'll take 10 pulses. Lower down for 10 and nine, eight, squeeze your legs, seven, six, press to the heels, five, four, arms back, three, two, one, hold here for 10, nine, eight, you can do it, seven, six, five, almost there, four, three, two, one. Okay, stand up. We're gonna do it all over again. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see the posture a little bit better. Find the sides of big toes, the ankles, and the knees all touch. Lower the hips down, sit back into that chair, cross the arms over the chest. Now look down and make sure you can see your toes. If you can't, send your knees a little bit further back. Now we'll start all over again. Let's go for it. Lower down for 10 and nine, eight, seven, squeeze your legs, six, five, four, press through the heels, Three, two, and one. Pause here. Lift the arms up by the ears, straighten them a little bit more, and send them back too. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Let's find our 10 quicker pulses. Lower for 10, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, you can do it. Three, two, one, and hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, stand up, and the anger has passed. Build. Establish and develop something over a period of time. Let's connect to build. We're gonna do a wide plie and build up to a total body workout. Take your feet really wide, wider than your hips. Turn your toes out. I want your knees to feel comfortable. Sink your hips down. So if you can, try to line your knees along with your ankles. Maybe you have to move your foot out or in. Bring your arms out to the sides. Open up your chest. Lean back. Sink your hips a little bit lower. Hold right here. Can you lean back more? It's like there's a wall behind you. We're gonna lower the hips down and up 10 times. Down an inch, up one. Down an inch, up two. Feel your thighs, three and up. Four, think about your posture. Five, build up your body. Number six. Up, seven, and up. Three more like this, eight, and up. Two more, nine, and up. One more, hold right here. Now just your arms, down, up, one. Two, can you bring your hips lower? Three, and up, bend those knees. Four, open up the knees more. Five, up, six, and up. Think posture, seven, up. Three more, eight, and up. Two more, nine, and up. One more, hold right here. Combination, legs and arms. Let's do this, go down, up one to 10, two and up, number three and up, but number four, build up that strength of five, up six and up, number seven and up, three more and then a 10 second hold, nine and up, one more now hold right here. Sink your hips down lower, bring your arms back. Can you raise your right heel? Can you raise your left heel? 10 seconds, nine, eight, go down lower, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, all the way up. You built up to a total body workout. 
patience, the capacity to accept delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. Let's connect to feeling patience. We're gonna do a hamstring stretch. It's gonna require a lot of patience. Stand a little bit further apart, but legs distance away from a chair. Feet hips width apart and parallel. And go ahead and place your right leg on the chair. Flex your foot, toes up to the ceiling. Turn your left hip in. Open up your chest. I want you to lean forward slightly. So where I want you to feel it is in your hamstring. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds starting now. Now inhale and exhale. Push your hips back. It's tempting to wanna to get out of this. But you gotta have patience to get the most out of a stretch. Can you lean forward even more? Maybe you try to even touch your chair. Toes up to the ceiling, abs are in. Can you turn that left hip in again? Hear yourself breathe. Maybe you even wanna close your eyes. About five more seconds left starting right now. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's switch sides. Bring that right leg down. Go ahead and place your left leg on the chair. Find your patience in your breathing. Lift up your chest. Hips are back, you're leaning forward. Now turn your right hip in again. Lean forward a little bit more. Place your hands where you feel comfortable. 30 seconds starts now. Maybe you reach forward, try to hold onto the chair. Maybe hands are on your hips. Do what feels good. Now think of your hamstring like a rubber band. You're pulling your hip back, you're pulling your heel forward. Stretching underneath your leg. Turning that right hip in, breathe. Exhale longer, especially if you run a lot, play sports, walking around all day, you want to stretch these hamstrings. Hold steady, belly in. Can you reach your chest forward even more? Five more seconds left. Five, turn that right hip in, four, three, two, and one. Thank you for being patient. Strength, the quality or state of being strong, bodily or muscular power, vigor. Let's connect to strength with push-ups. It takes a whole lot of strength both inside and out to complete a push-up. Step over to your chair and place your hands down on the seat. It might be fingers are staying long or maybe you wrap your fingers around the bottom. Now step your feet back Make sure that your heels are lifted. Legs and toes are together. Now lower your hips just enough that you can barely see your toes. Make sure your head is in line with your spine. Now that we have the pose, we're gonna do 10 slow and 10 fast. Let's start in three, two, one. Go down, down, up, and up. That's one, down, down, up, and up. That's two, down, down, Make sure your legs stay long. Three, this is number four. Engage your abs. This is five. Keep the shoulder blades down the back. Are you feeling strong yet? For six, keep going. This is number seven. Almost there, this is eight. Last two for nine and 10. Now we're going fast. Down one, again, two. You got it, keep the pace. Three, almost there. Four, this is five, that's halfway. Six, shoulders down the back for seven. Heels lifted, eight. And nine is the last one, 10. Okay, stand up. I bet you're feeling strong. Shake the arms out. Now, here's where your inner strength comes into play because you've got to gear up for the second set. Before we get there, let's take a breath together. Find your inhale and exhale. All right, here we go. Find your posture again. Hands on the chair, step the feet back. Make sure your hips and your head are in line. This time, we're gonna do 10 fast and 10 super fast. Here we go in three, two, one. Go down for one, and this is two. Good, make sure the heels are lifted, three, Shoulders down the back, four, engage your abs, five, and six, 
So close. Seven. Almost there. Eight. And nine. Last one. Ten. Now we're going to go super fast. Bend and go down for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Stay here for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Push up. And you're done. That took a lot of strength. Whew. Dedication. The quality of being dedicated or committed to a task or purpose. Let's connect to feeling dedication, a clam hold. You're going to have a seat on your chair and we're going to commit and dedicate all our focus to our core workout. Two different options. If you're feeling like your back might hurt, you're not as strong, you're just going to lift your legs up a little bit. If you're feeling more advanced here, you're going to lean back and hold this for one minute. Two sets of 30 seconds. Go ahead. Place your hand on the top of your chair and the bottom of your chair. Feel comfortable. Lean back. Bring your legs up. Pull in. Hold right here. 30 seconds. Now can you pull your abs in tighter? Feel your core. Shoulders back and down. Can you lean back a little bit more? Make it harder by pulling your legs out more. Hold steady. Abs are in. Breathe. You got this. You can adjust if you need to. Dedicate your breath. Dedicate your focus. Ten more seconds left. That's it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Take a quick little break. All right, on this next one, I want you to challenge it a little bit more. Maybe take your legs out further. Maybe lean back more. Thirty seconds. On the count of three. One. Lean back. Two. Bring those legs up. Three. 30 seconds, hold, pull in, shoulders down, abs and shaking a little bit is normal. Make sure that your thighs are glued together. There's that energy between your thighs, your legs and your abs right now. Shoulders down, can you lean back more? Can you extend your legs out further? 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, dedicate, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, you did it. Freedom, the absence of or release from ties or obligations. Let's connect to feeling freedom with a core stretch. First thing I want you to do, bring your fingers together, interlace. Now you're going to take your hands above your head, sitting nice and tall, chest up. You're really reaching for the ceiling. Now you're going to bend right. Feel that nice stretch on the left side of your body. Very good. You're still, you're still sitting nice and tall with your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Now you're going to bend left. Now you're going to feel that stretch on the right side of your body. You feel it? Good. Now you're coming back to the center and now you're going to give me that arch. So you're just bending back can bring your chin up in the air. You're still sitting nice and tall. Come back to center. Release the arms. That was freedom with a core stretch.